For the first time in nine years, Dennis Sarbo Sorensen experiences feeling in his left hand. Stuffed. Having lost his lower arm in a fireworks accident, the Danish father of three has regained his sense of touch through this revolutionary prototype prosthetic. Electrodes in the prosthetic hand are tied in with nerves in Sorensen's upper arm, forming an electrical connection between the prosthetic and his brain. That connection enables Sorensen to feel the weight and judge the dimensions of objects he's holding, even when blindfolded. Soft. The prosthetic research was led by neurologist Silvestro Michera from Swiss Technological Institute, EPFL. The hand has several sensors attached to each tendon of each finger, and we can use these sensors to understand the level of force the patient was performing while grasping an object. And we use this force information to deliver very precise stimulation to the different sensory nerves in order to restore this real-time sensory feeling into the nervous system. For Sorensen, it required a surgical procedure in Rome last year. Ultra-thin transneural electrodes were implanted into nerves in his arm. The hand was then attached to the electrodes every day for a week, forming a link from the prosthetic to the brain. Sorensen says the results are stunning. He's the first person to regain sensory feeling in a false limb. The first time they, they uh, turned it on and we worked with the, with the new hand, it, it was uh, amazing because suddenly I could feel things uh, that I haven't been able to, to for so many years and, and, and it was uh, a kind of, you can feel it, round things and hard things and soft things and that was quite amazing. Emboldened by the results, the team has removed the electrodes in Dennis's hand as they begin work on miniaturising and fine-tuning the sensory technology. Delighted by his role in the trial, Dennis hopes to be first in line when a bionic arm eventually becomes available.